I've been I've been able to refer just one person to MMM. Yeah. Okay. Why did you decide to go into MMM? Okay, it's not be basically because of the economy. You know, it's profitable based on the fact that you keep your money in the bank. Your money is not yielding anything. That was if you're able to withdraw um, some certain amounts in a month or thereabout. And then because of that, you won't be able to make any profits on your money in the in the bank account. But it's more preferable to put your money in MMM. Due to the fact that in a month your money must have yield some certain dividends, so which is you know better in comparison to you keeping your money in the bank. That is the reason I joined MMM. So you believe your money is safe with MMM and it's coming back with profit? Uh, yeah, sure, definitely. I believe my money will come back. I don't think anything, but I think something positive about it. Due to the back fact that um, before you can you, you enter into MMM, you already won. You shouldn't put your last. You know, you shouldn't put all your money into it. It is more preferable if you are able to spare uh, um, some certain amount in your bank account. Sure, it will have perfect people that put all their money in it. Okay, people that only put all their money. Uh, yeah, all their money, all they have into it. Okay. But me, I'm able to as speculative for speculative purposes. I was able to keep some certain amount before uh, I go into MMM. No, I'm not saying anything wrong with it. No, 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 no. It's not going to end like that. The, the system says by either January, between January 1st and 14th, it will be unfrozen. You understand? So those who have money there, who, who, the, who those who have money there and want to get the money, if, they, if, they're gonna, if they're gonna freeze the money from now to July, January 17th, the January 14th or 1st to 14th, it's even more benefit for them because by 14th of January, their money would have doubled. It's already affecting me because I have some money inside. You understand? But I see it as a means of multiplying the money because what I have inside would double. So by January 14th, by January 14th or end of January, I'm going to get the money back. It's not a scary thing. It's just that Nigerians should just be patient and they should reduce the, uh, the anxiety of it. So it's not going to crash. Uh, no, there is news around. Like the way the other guy was telling me. Actually, I don't know. But well, I believe if they are frozen, freezing uh, the account of people, it should be because maybe the people have not been keeping to their own end of the bargain. It will affect them, but actually I think there should have been a platform for a plan B, whereby, you know, things like this actually do not, uh, do not have a strong, how do I put it, a strong platform to which people can depend on. So and as such, I, my advice to anyone who his or her account has been frozen should be that they should next time plan better and also have another plan to which they will get money, not uh, depending wholly on MMM. Yes, it is common that uh, during the Christmas like this, people will be looking for money. But when you are looking for money, you get your money, you look for money from a very legal means, not from anything that is not certain. This MMM is not certain. Even if it is certain, it is not legal. Anyway, I, initially I said it is illegal. Right, it is illegal. However, government can help them by legalizing it. Because when it becomes, because presently you know that there is recession in town. And everybody, everybody is clamoring. You know, hardship, depravity, everything. The people are not comfortable. Me particularly that I'm talking to you, I'm not comfortable. However, you look for something from the legal means, from the you know from the right uh, 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 the right means. You don't just look. You cannot say because there is recession, there is depravity, and you want to go and carry on. You become man robber. You should think of the consequence. For everything you do, there should be consequence. So uh, I don't expect anything less than that. However, government can help them by legalizing it because they are in one way or the other they are helping the government. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Said by name, Said. Said. Have you heard about MMA? Or yeah, sure. MMA? Oh, no, I am not a subscriber, but I've heard about it. Yeah, I see okay. people doing it. Of course, yeah, yeah. Even family members are doing it. Yeah, of course. Have you heard that the account has been Yeah, I, I saw that on news now about an hour ago. Like, so it's so, so bad, but um, I don't know what to say about that. But uh, this is the time people really need the MMM. So why would they freeze their accounts? That is the question. I don't know, but um, it's kind of um, fraudulent to me. MMM, MMM, MMM. Um, as a matter of fact, to some it is a way, but to others it is not. You understand? So, but um, it is based on individual perspective. I don't do it. 
Okay, I knew. Uh, at, at some point, at some point, I registered, but I just felt, let me just um, forget about it. But to some, I think it's a way out of the extension. But to people, the few know they might be fraudulent and the time will come, they have to something like this, you understand, which is happening now. Well, so we just hope. Op well, 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 my advice to them is just to take out, if in case they are not coming back. So they just take out and be careful of the kind of things they put their money next time. And that's just it. Never did it anyway, because I was never interested in it. Okay, but you have friends of... Yeah, yeah, I have, I have people, a lot of people who, who went into it and who even tried encouraging me to go into it. Actually, I, I, I knew this was going to happen. I told some persons about it that around this time, about this time, that something like this is going to happen. And I'm not very, very surprised it happened. It's something I knew was going to happen. Understand? I really knew it was going to happen to people. Well, well I, I, I just hope it comes back. You understand? Because of my friends that lost their money. I pray MMM comes back. That's just my prayer for them. I pray, but I don't think it's going to come back. Uh, MMM, I'm aware, but I'm, uh, I'm not doing it. The reason is that I like MMM, and um, I don't hate MMM, but I will not go out of my way to invest in MMM. The reason why I will not go out of my way to invest in MMM is, is a time bomb. There is no way it will not crash one day. Well, for now, it, it cannot end like that. I have some of my friends that are doing it, and I contacted them when I had same news that MMM has crashed. What they told me is that they have the, the, the number of people that need help, the, num the number of people that need to be paid, is more than the number of people that want to invest presently. So because of that, they said they extend it till January 2017. Let us wait till January 2017. And if nothing comes January 2017, so you don't need to be told that it has crashed. I heard, uh, I, yes, I heard about MMM sometimes when it came to Nigeria. And uh, today, or oh, was lately yesterday that I heard that the account has been frozen, or the website actually. So, um, to me, what I think about that, it's, uh, it's to them, to them, some of them doing it, it's, it's going to be disappointing to them because mostly, um, like say, 85% of them will be expecting to get their money back um, for this season especially. Yeah, 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 it helps in so many ways. Yes, yes. In fact, I'm into it and I'm doing more. And I'm, a, I'm referring people and I will keep referring people. Actually, what they are doing is for our own good. The account was frozen for the site to be updated. They are, we are updating the site. Understand? By the time the site is fully updated, because we know that by this year, a lot of people have gone to join MMM. So we wouldn't like a situation whereby at the end of the day or at the end of the year or at the middle of the year it will crash so they need to do something to build up the site to make sure that this site is strong enough to accommodate a lot of people that was what happened the other time let's see if you are if you are into it you can see that such thing happened actually actually one way or the other it will affect them um but in other way than still they have cash by the end of the day they will still have it it's, it helped them he said them though a little bit painful, but when the cash will come, they will still enjoy it. I'm also a victim of it. I supposed to um, have received um, that, is a, that should be on Thursday, but I don't mind. My next is there for me. I'm not into, but I have close friends who are, in fact, they intimidated me by, for joining, uh, coming to join uh, MMM. So they always pressurize me every day. Join, join, join MMM. I said. Look, I don't join, it's a fraud. I look at it as a fraud. Yeah, negatively. It will affect them negatively. In fact, some people were even banging on. As soon as they collect the money, they go and buy a car. They go and buy this, buy this and buy this. I was just laughing because there was a, a, a bank like that, one that bank called Omano Mara, so many years ago. It came in the same way and gone the same way. No, there's no hope that it will come back because it's a fraud. It founded on fraud. It was founded on fraud. So there's no anything that is founded on fraud. As far as funded from front, there's no hope of coming back. That's my view about it. Actually, I'm not into MMM because I have any, every, other things I'm doing. I'm a comedian of, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm MC the teacher. 
by the stage name? Uh, definitely, I have a lot of them that are doing MMM, family, friends, relatives, all. Many are doing the MMM. And with the look of things, do you think that the MMM has been helping them? Actually, yeah, MMM has been helping a lot of them because I can able to um, think of one of my friends, their friend, he stays in a room apartment. Uh, as I'm talking to you right now, that the, a friend of mine, he just, he just moved in about two weeks ago to three-bedroom apartment. With MMM money? With MMM, definitely, yeah. Wow. And another one just bought a car of two point, uh, uh, two point five million about uh, uh, two months ago. Definitely, definitely. That's what I told one of my friends that, you know, anything in this world is up, there's an advantage, there's a disadvantage. So this is a the practical disadvantage of MMM. So that that time you expect them to deliver. This is a time people expect MMM to deliver and definitely they are not delivering. So this is a time people expect money. People that have invested their money, this is a business. You invest their money, you expect it at the end of the day. You guys to have your money. You used to do one thing or the other. But MMM are definitely frees people's account. Now the people have been disappointed. People that plan one thing or the other. Like some people are planning to get married. People are planning to build a house. People are planning to buy get a new car people plan to change the apartment now they're all they are all disappointed i told one of my friends one time ago that M when mma will, will, will freeze or be bound in nigeria the mental people the kind of insane, insane people will increase in lagos state and this thing is happening go ahead and you see people now my mentality don't they run my friend just shout hey teacher we don't die money don't finish mma don't freeze all our money that's things that are happening in the country my brother will i say that mma is all about 50 50. either to come back or to froze either 50 50 that's one thing i can say about that sahara tv in africa you is the best TV to watch so far. The whole Africa, Nigeria, keep on Sahara TV. You are the best. MC the teacher says you are the best. You are number one in Africa. Keep it on. Love you guys. Keep it on. Bye.